Hello everyone, this is Alex from alexlancer.com. In the previous video, we created an authorization process for our REST API server. And in this part, we will continue developing a protected resource for blog posts by adding CRUD functionality to our blog controller. If you don't know what CRUD is, it is an acronym for Create, Read, Update and Delete methods. Let's waste no time and add these methods to our controller. And the first thing we have to do is to open our routes.php file. Let's navigate inside our app folder, config, and open routes. So we don't need home index, we don't use it. And let's create routes resource block. So what this rule does, it automatically creates, gives us an access for the following methods that you can find also inside CodeIgniter application, inside CodeIgniter documentation. So as you can see, routes resource is an equivalent to the following, to these methods here. So for instance, if we want to create a new item inside of our controller, we will have to create a method with the name of create. And let's start with that. Let's go back. Let's save first of all our routes file. Let's go back to blog. Let's create our first function to create a new blog post. So we say public function create. Let's use here a helper form so that we can use our validation methods. Let's say form. So now the rules will be really simple here. Let's say we will have a title that we will expect and it will be required. Required. Let's say min length at least six characters. That's enough. And also let's specify the description input. There is also required. No need for anything else here. Now let's say if this validate and pass the rules inside like that. Then we will say data. So if our validation fails, then let's create, yeah, no, we don't need that, I think here. Let's just return this. So we could say respond as we did here above, but the respond method by default will return the HTTP status code of 200, except we, we, we can pass more options to our respond method, like let's say the first parameter would be the data that we want to pass, and then it would be the status code. But there is also another way to do it. So CodeIgniter provides us with uh, some predefined methods. For instance, in case of failed, some failed action, 
let's say wrong validation we can specify fail and what it will do by default will add the 400 HTTP error code status code so there is no need for us to to, to remember all the status code that are out there and you can find the validation uh, sorry all the respond methods again inside inside the documentation and I think if we search for API API response trait yeah so this uh, this here are all the respond methods that you can use that are built in inside the code igniter so for instance let's say our method is not validated so we can use this validation error but this will allow us only to send our errors uh, as as a string what i want to do is to grab to, to display multiple errors so i want to pass them as a JSON object. Therefore, I will use the gener general fail method. I will use it by providing this validator get errors. So let's continue with the else case. And say that data equals post title this request get var. title let's copy this and change this to description okay so our data is ready to be posted so let's say post id equals this model insert data by running this method on on our model it will return the new ID that was added to the database. Also, let's add to our data array the new post ID so we can so that we can return it as a response. Let's say return this respond created data respond created will generate the HTTP code of 201 let's check this let's create a new request that should be a post request and let's say HTTP localhost block now let's create our authorization header bear token actually we have to create one so let's go back to our login let's generate a new token back to our post block add it here and now let's go to body change to for to form url encoded now let's add the title field let's say new blog post description will be awesome content i really love it and let's send and we will see what we will get so internal error a typo on line 27 
line 27 request okay let's try again okay so the post has been generated and we have the new ID so our first method to create a new item is ready the next method we want to do is how we can update an existing post we will need to create a public function named update but we will have to pass a parameter inside of id this equals null is required let's copy this part here let's copy also let's take the first part of the if the only difference here no this this one remains exactly the same so let's go else because it will be a put method it will it will not be the post method in order to get the values from the request we will have to use this method here so it is from the request get raw input and now let's create our data so this get get raw input will give you back an array of of the values that you have posted so let's go and create post ID is the ID that we have from the request now post title will be equal to input title and same stands for the description you might want to check and to escape any HTML attributes that that the user that user can pass here let's go this model so we can use the save method now because we have because the post ID is specified and we said in our block model that post ID is our primary key so whenever you use a model that has a primary key and you pass the data inside the save method with that post ID code igniter automatically understands that it has to update an existing record and not create a new one so what we can do return this respond data so here here we will use a simple respond method so we, we have created post ID 8 yours might have different ID so just add this add your ID here change the post request to the put request new blog post title and I really like it not love it let's see okay so whenever you see action is not implemented it means that the method for the particular function that you that you want to use is not created or it's not created in the proper way it means that public function update might actually be not update so let's see the documentation for code igniter let's go back rest api resource handling so put it stands for update okay let me check again so the reason for this error 
is that actually before before adding an update method we have to create a show method so let's go this show method will will give us back as a response a single a single post by id so let's say id equals no so if no we don't need this if let's just say that data equals this model find id and let's return this respond data that's it so now if we go back first of all let's try this get method to see if if we will get back our post id 8 so get okay it looks nice so we have also the post created add and now let's try and edit this again so we go back to put new blog post title i really like it yeah it looks like the update works perfectly so if we go back now again to get blog post 8 we are getting our content as we have updated it we have only one method left to implement and it is the, update, the delete method so let's go public function delete again id equals null and let's make a test here so first this model find find id so if we have data so it means that if the record was found this model delete id delete id and let's return this respond deleted also one of the methods that code igniter provides us with else return this fail not found and let's give it just a string message item not found let's give it a try so now we go to our let's create it in a separate window separate tab let's create a delete request http localhost block 8 right and let's take the authorization token let's add it to our authorization header so let's send it nice so because we got the data all the data back it means that actually the deletion was successful because if you run it again now you will see that status 404 item not found again if we go back to our get method and we will try to get blog post with id 8 we get nothing but we get the status code 404 
So guys, now you can start creating your own REST API servers, share your thoughts and maybe different setup approach in the comments. Thank you all for watching. See you in the later videos.